welcome back everyone so from all of the ships that i own the astro is absolutely the most profitable one i say that because this ship did pay for itself uh, over 10 times by now so uh, exploration has been going pretty good for me and i'll show you some of my findings today as for the builds, I did not change absolutely anything on this Astro, uh, same modules uh, as before. Now I know uh, I've mentioned something about using a medium armor repair on this ship. Uh, currently I'm kind of far away from my home system, so uh, I am going to use this ship with the current equipment, although I prefer to have a medium armor repair when I am doing exploration with, uh, with this frigate. But all the other rigs are uh, the same, the modules are the same, same drones, same weapons, so basically I haven't changed much uh, on this ship. Alright, well, uh, with that being said, let's jump to the first site that I did scan. Decayed Serpentis Collision Site. Hmm, interesting. Okay, now I am, I, I think this is recorded, uh, yeah, this is recorded in low sec, the first one is in low sec. I did have a lot of luck in low sec systems with exploration, although uh, I have uh, a pocket in low sec that I like to visit from time to time, that also uh, gives very decent loot, and of course, most importantly, there is not a lot of traffic around these systems. So I'm not going to get disrupted uh, while doing exploration. So I immediately went after the Serpentis remains and okay, not bad, some tier 3 rigs. I really can't wait to have tier 4 rigs out. They are going to be dropping everywhere and I'll be getting them uh, with exploration without a problem. They will be expensive. So there is the chance to earn more isk. The next is going to be Serpentis Debris. Now I haven't changed my uh, relic analyzer, although I kind of want to get the most expensive one to be honest. Would definitely improve uh, in some areas. I have the most expensive data analyzer that one is doing an amazing job so far. Now there is uh, one more pilot in the system. I am just being careful if they decide to warp in. I have the PvP overview ready. Usually they are in interceptors but from time to time you will stumble upon a Astro or even a Stratios, even other ships including the exploration frigates. But in 99.99% of my personal cases here, uh, I haven't had a problem with uh, other pirates jumping in while I am doing exploration. A couple times they warp in and then they warp out as soon as they see me floating around. So, so that's uh, not a big problem. Although you have to be careful uh, because you will have people camping these anomalies in bombers, in other cruisers, so you have to be careful. Right, the loot wasn't that bad, 80 million from the first run, okay, some warp core optimizers that can be sold for a decent price. Regional Serpentis Command Center, okay, that's the next site, this is in the in my pocket in null. I call it my pocket because no one else visits this system besides me. Literally every time I go here I find one or two sites, sometimes three sites in a row. And that's why I... that's one of the things I love uh, about exploration. If you manage to find a very quiet pocket that you can basically visit every day and if you can loot every day then you can profit very quickly and overall uh, it is still one of the most relaxing experiences in this game okay I got some hmm, interesting I, I, I'm pretty sure that blue module there can be sold for a decent price overall I still 
prefer low sec over no sec for exploration and you will see uh, why in one of the uh, next parts not quite sure if I'll include uh, that in this part but in two days in a row I did have uh, more than I think 3 billion in loot per day that was very uh, that was very interesting now for some reason the graphics on this station here are glitched out and it glows like a Christmas tree a little bit too early for that but still uh, for some reason it glows we'll crack open the next info chart Serpentis remains uh, ga gave me a lot of very decent stuff uh, in recent days I did have a lot of uh, success in Caldery space and of course in Amar space including Losec and Nolsec, although uh, Losec still uh, gave me more loot and more ISK than Nolsec. Not quite sure when that will be changed, but so far I prefer to, to go in Losec. Now, the, the pocket in, uh, in Nolsec that I usually visit, uh, it is quite far away, so uh, and the road usually is uh, mostly clear. One of the rare routes where you don't have any camps waiting for you. But still, uh, don't AFK anywhere in uh, in these systems. That's highly dangerous. You might stumble upon you might stumble upon me if you do that. So don't travel AFK through no security systems. This is the last command tower here, and then I can move on to the next one. The next uh, three will be in uh, in around this system here. Now I'll try to keep the name of the system uh, hidden as long as I can because I really enjoy. Oh well, I did not open that one. That's that's kind of sad. All right, well, uh, let's cloak, and I did not miss anything. Excellent. Well, that's not bad. This item here is valuable. Oh, okay, nine million, and I have through. All right, next, regional Serpentis data terminal. The I think this is the second one. I am warping towards it. That means the data analyzer will be used for this. Now you might be wondering what what's like the best exploration uh, ship. Well. I think the Astro cannot be beaten by any other uh, currently available ship in the game. So yeah, the Astro, if you want to do exploration, the Astro should be your main goal uh, for a for a ship. Now the other exploration frigates are decent, uh, but uh, the Astro is just uh, is just the best uh, overall, the tankiest. It has DPS. It it can fit some very nice modules. Now it's expensive, let's be real. Uh, this ship is expensive, but like I said, this little ship paid for itself in, in less than a week for me owning it. And to date, I, had, I didn't have any other ship that made me so much isk in this game than this Astero. Still my first one, haven't lost it. Don't plan on losing it. Overall, a very, very robust ship. Hmm, for a moment I thought that I would fly through that, but I didn't. Now, in EVE Online you can shoot down all of these structures and they can give you uh, a cargo container that can't contain some items. I remember them dropping missiles. Uh, hopefully in the future they make these structures destructible. And hopefully they will give them some loot, because back in the day that, that used to be the thing at least in EVE Online. Now here, uh, so far that's not the case, but uh, I think the developers are going to add something like that. Still no one in local, that's perfect. I, I mean, when I'm here I don't even look at the local because if someone jumps in it's maybe one pilot per day or something like that. So the traffic is very quiet 
and you don't have to worry about that. Well, I don't have to worry about that because I'm literally the only one who who visits uh, the systems here. How I know? Well, uh, literally every time I go here, I see a very nice sight that I do, as you can see here. Now, as for my skills, uh, I think I'm already maxed out for scanning. Although, still, uh, I fail to scan a lot of the a lot of these boxes. Not sure why, but I guess that's just uh, how my luck how my luck works. To left, command tower, and the mainframe. I should have went for the mainframe, but ah, it's okay. I'll just go with this one. I tried to use the Stratius for exploration, and that ship is just kind of a little bit too slow. Uh, you, it works, let, don't get me wrong, uh, it works. But the Astro is just better suited for, for that. Uh, Stratius is tanky for, for this job, uh, and you are safe from, from camps. You're safe from frigates, safe from basically bombers that can wait and lurk around. But it's slow, and traveling with it is time-consuming. For exploration I prefer fast ships, small ships with a good cargo hold. Interceptors are going to get the job done, but you cannot cloak in them. That's why uh, Aster is literally perfect for this job. I'm not tier 10 just yet. When I am tier 10 I'll try out the exploration, the other normal exploration frigates. They seem to be fun, but I don't see them that often for this job. And I'm really glad that I actually bought these modules. Before this I did use the Mark 9 modules of the analyzers, and I did miss a lot of uh, a lot of boxes, let's be real here. I did miss a lot of boxes, especially the remains, the mainframes and all the other high tier boxes. Now with these ones, well, um, I'm making some good discs so far. 236 million, alright, not bad. Now, that price is just an estimate, it doesn't necessarily need to be 236 million. Sometimes, uh, actually yesterday, in one of the next parts that you, that you are going to see, uh, I did find around 650 million in loot. And currently selling everything for 1.8 billion uh, from the same loot. Did find some very juicy blueprints. I'm not gonna spoil too much. Just know that well, uh, I made bank in the last two days doing scanning, and I quite enjoy this to be honest. Uh, second most favorite thing to do in this game for me is uh, exploration. Now. The estimates are, are okay, it gives you an accurate representation, not a real one, but an accurate one. So, uh, was quite lucky, and of course, uh, we'll try to keep the systems hidden, because I kinda, kinda want to uh, make my wallet thicker again. I plan on getting some new ships, planning on, of course, uh, for the for the future factions that are gonna be released and all the other good stuff, so I really have to save up uh, the ISK for the upcoming upcoming ships and all the, and the other things. But of course, don't worry, uh, these systems are just few of many in this game that contain basically the same thing. Overall, uh, exploration, does it pay off? It does! You can literally get a couple months worth of Dual Omega in less than 30 minutes of, well, of exploration. So, uh, might be time for me to do a part 2 of the exploration guide. The first one, I think it was quite informative. Uh, uh, of course, I think I made some, uh, I did forget to mention some things. For example, I forgot to mention how to differentiate between a data site uh, or, let's say, a new event site or the other wormhole spaces that uh, that are in the game. Overall, uh, with practice, I think you could actually uh, learn how to do that without a problem. 
Alright, well, I cleared this site as well. Let's go to the next one. Regional Serpentis Data Mining Site. Now I have... There is one more in local, I have to be careful. This is also a null sec. The mining sites can give you mining rigs, which are very uh, expensive. I did find like eight of them yesterday or the day before that. All of them are on the market. Uh, 200 million for a blueprint, for one of these blueprints. So do the math, eight times 200. Yeah, uh, pretty decent catch for, for the day. Okay, I'll try to open the mainframe. Very curious to see uh, in the future. Now I'll definitely have to, uh, probably in the future I'll have to go uh, very deep inside no space. It will be dangerous, but uh, I really hope just just to do a comparison between the drops from low and no. Although uh, I already was in deep no space. And uh, let me tell you right now, it wasn't as successful as Losek. Weird, I know, but it is currently the situation. There is one more in local. Hmm, okay. I mean, I'm not too much afraid of getting jumped in this ship. I can just uh, click on cloak and disappear. I can cloak while have, while have these ships, uh, these things locked on. So, only a bomber that sneak that sneaks up can have the chance to catch me. But I kill bombers very quickly with this ship. Uh, it's not a big problem. So, so far... A good run! Interesting, I did get some chips there. Hmm. Interesting, interested to see how much they cost. Some of these chips go on sale for like 25 million. For one, uh, for uh, one of these chips. Next one, the Serpentis info shard. Local now empty, that's good. Have to be... Always be careful, even uh, if you are like... 100% sure that you're safe, you never know what can happen. In my case, my internet is well, pretty terrible, let's, let's be real. My internet is pretty terrible. It does cut a lot of times. It does cut while I do PvP, so uh, very risky to fly expensive ships with such an internet connection, but, well, I have to do it, because if I don't do it, no one else will. So far, didn't have... Uh, well, actually, I think my internet killed me like once or twice. I really have to take a look at all of my losses from the past months. I'm pretty sure my internet killed me once uh, in a exp in a expensive ship. I know I lost a phantasm uh, from terrible internet. Yeah, that's that's the first. That's my first official big loss. Uh, 4.48 billion of phantasm. Back in the day, that ship used to be super expensive. Now, well, I can buy like eight of them without a problem. Alright, that was a nice little site. Let's go to the next one. Uh, keep in mind, all of this is in uh, no space. Remains. Okay, I'll go after the Serpentis remains immediately. I know a lot of a lot of you told me that you did not find anything uh, while scanning. Now that might be due to several reasons. Uh, you need to have a scanner that has at least like below. 100 uh, meters minimal scan. I say, uh, I say around 100 because I used to run a uh, RB cover, cover tops for this. It had 117 minimum scan. Uh, it used to find a lot of a lot of these sites. Now, I really recommend uh, that you go below 100. Although it's not necessary, but I really recommend that you go below 100 meters. This ship has 65.52 meters uh, scan minimum scan and it should be able to scan everything so if you want to have a specific ship for scanning uh, you should have I mean it's very profitable currently it's relaxing and fun uh, I really would recommend uh, that you have below 65 uh, below 100 meters minimum scan 
that way you are absolutely not going to miss out on any site that is available. That might be one of the cases why uh, why you might not find anything uh, while scanning. The other case might be that it already has been looted. You really have to pick uh, a certain time for this before anyone else uh, starts to scan. So you, you really have to be uh, quite literally one of the first ones to start uh, scanning in the day or in a certain uh, time of the day. For me, I usually do this uh, in the very late hours of the night, like 2, 3, 4, 5 a.m. That's basically when I wake up, to be honest. Sometimes I wake up at like 3 a.m., uh, going to, to bed at like 8 p.m., something like that. I don't quite keep the track of when I go to sleep, but sometimes I go to sleep when it's still light outside. So you need to have that type of, uh, not luck, but you need to be one of the first ones to actually go into the systems and scan. Now, I, I did find a lot of... Uh, a lot of sites that were not looted entirely, that's because not many people can afford the super expensive analyzer modules, so they miss out on the higher tier boxes. In my case, uh, I did miss out on a lot of uh, high tier boxes in the past, not anymore, now I open uh, basically everything that I can find. Is it profitable? It is. Uh, is the price of the analyzers uh, justified? Well, I still think that they are like way too overpriced uh, currently. Like 600 million, that's like a price of a Cinnabon currently. So, uh, at least, I guess from 150 to 300 million is should be the normal price. Uh, price reward ratio is still insanely high to be honest, but still the modules are uh, by itself. Uh, overpriced, way too overpriced for uh, for my taste. Now, uh, yeah, overpriced, but they made me a lot of money back, to be honest. So uh, that's that's really debatable at this moment. All right, I think this will be the last box for today. Not quite sure if this is one of the recent ones. Yeah, it is one of the recent ones, based on how mu how much isk is there left in my wallet. And this one, I believe, gave me some very juicy stuff, and I'm about to... I believe it's this one. Again, I have like more than an hour of uh, recording footage for scanning, so I really need to compile that properly to show you the juicy loots. This is a yeah, remains, and one attempt left. Am I going to break one? It got looted, you know, that's, that was lucky, that was actually lucky that I opened that at like, one attempt remaining, oh man. And that happened a uh, couple times, so, it kind of, it can get uh, uncomfortable to be honest, but in the end, Keep in mind, the loot is uh, basically uh, RNG, so sometimes you get a billion, sometimes you get metal scraps, so keep that in mind. I'll just proceed towards the next boxes and then and then we will see what I'll do. already made uh, a decent amount of disk. Overall. Uh, very satisfied with the results. And if you are basically starting with the game, if you are starting with EVE, then this might be one of the best ways to to start uh, getting, well, getting rich in a way. Even the sites in high sec are still decent and you can open them with the basic analyzers, the tier 7 analyzers can open them up without a problem. So uh, if you're starting the game, if you don't know how to uh, make ISK, then exploration is the answer. Of course in high sec you're going to have a lot, a lot more players uh, competing uh, for, the, for the sites. 
but in the end you will find some and uh, when you do find them they will supply you with enough isk for new ships for new modules items and then you can build up on that as uh, you keep on advancing through the game and of course through the levels overall uh, this exploration part of the game should and is designed to be quite relaxing to be quite chill uh, it is quite the opposite of the constant fighting that we have for from the it's different from the pvp that's that's a fact so uh, yeah if you need money if you if you need isk then exploration is the key or one of the keys we can also do other things but exploration can be way more profitable per day than let's say running missions and that is based on my personal experience i used to run missions now i just do exploration or pvp because it's just way more profitable than than running missions although i do missions i do run missions for the concord stuff because i really need a new nanocore for for one of my ships Right, that was that was nice. Uh, that was a nice round of exploration. Oh man, that was the that's just the first part. I have a I have a lot more uh, very juicy parts uh, coming up. Hope that you enjoyed. Hope that it was helpful. And with that being said, stay safe, fly safe, and I'll see you next time.